Alrighty then. Uh, <clears throat> it is time. It is time to stream some more long dark. Uh, just gonna hit types, drop the link into some places, and then we'll be ready to get pretty much straight into it. And then, but. I forgot to mention dropping the link is uh, is going to take a bit longer because I have to type one handed. Uh, I got to type one handed, but not for the reason. Uh, you guys might think it's because I got a monster in my lap. Um, well, not really, but you know, considering I'm playing the wolf long dark and wolves do play a major role in this, I figured it might be time to uh, put my leader of the pack uh, onto the stream again. Say hi to the people, JB. Okay, don't know if I would like to put that up. Oh boy. Animal abuse right here. Oh boy. Okay, we have that one. Sorry. Sorry, little buddy. I'm so sorry. For doing anything but letting but being like the perfect cuddle uh foundation. Yeah. Anyways, uh long dark. Last time, well, we died. Um this time we are maybe not going to die, or maybe we're going to keep dying. Meow. Well, and the leader of the pack left us. Yeah, and right. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, last time on the long dark I died. Uh, this time I'm probably also going to die, but hey, if you die, just keep trying, that's what they say. If at first you don't succeed, just die, die, die again, as the old saying goes. Ah! Um, obviously, I, I'm like not all that great at this whole stream preparation thing because I still have my capture card connected to the PS3, which obviously means uh, I wouldn't be able to pick up any PS4 footage. But hopefully... <sighs> yeah, we are. Okay, that works. Good. And let me just switch some stuff around. Fucking amateur hour right here. Okay. Anyways, right. Long dark. Starting now. I hope. Okay. Again, I would never attempt to use anything I learn in a video game because I just don't learn. That's the stock by Cat's promise. I never learn.
was a last save survival mode game. And just... Just gonna... Watch what that does. But I remember dying pretty distinctly. You know, we got like... We looked after a wolf, got eaten by it, and... Yeah. That's... Ah. Okay, I can't actually remember starting here, but it's... I guess that's just like a new game, yeah. We didn't have those fancy shoes last time. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Well, hey. Sometimes you gotta pay a price to be stylish. But yeah, we are... On Fallen Musk, it's... Ah. Okay, I don't know. Did I just, like, forget a lot of stuff, or... It's just some... Played through... I... I don't know. I don't know what this safe is, but it's... Dropped us in a new place, so... Uh, you know... I guess we can explore... Oh. Well, that doesn't sound, seem too, uh, well, inviting, I guess, the thing. Yes, there was a big bad wolf back there. And there's lots of open terrain over here. But there's also some power lines. Maybe that will those will lead us somewhere nice. Preferably before we starve or freeze to death more likely. Um Jesus, yeah. It seems like there's quite the wind blowing. a train which might contain some useful stuff but also there's wolves in the way which not a big fan of that could do without that uh, let's see uh. oh come on dude seriously I'm like eh it wasn't like even close to you fucking dick Well, I guess this is probably likely to be a sh very short adventure here. Uh, like I wanted to, you know, check how maybe we could get back to like a slightly nicer area, but... Oh well. Guess there ain't no t rest for the wicked. And I, I guess we must be very wicked considering how little rest we get. Oh boy. That one wasn't great. Oh. I guess it's time to punch the wolves. Um. Yow. Okay. Oh uh, well. I gotta get some help. Uh, that's <laughs> and he just like coolly walks away. Like my work here is already finished. You are already dead. What a fucking prick. Least he could have do uh, could do is like just eat us completely. You know. 
they do? Um, let's see, crafting. Now it only got two of those. Need three of those to get that wound dressing going. Ah, fuck it. Uh, no, it's those are just antibiotics. Uh, oh boy. Well. Mm, okay. Uh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to be fair, we could have planned the Taiwan better, but also, come on, that was a bit of a shit situation to drop us in game. <laughs> But I guess uh, we lived up to the stream title at least. I was like wondering if maybe I should try it with uh, difficulty, but uh, but I don't know. I guess I wanna. I love pain. And okay, full on mask that like section there. I mean, what sort of shit? But it's pretty close to Mystery Lake, so we could have gotten. You know, may maybe made it there eventually. Let's maybe start in the mountain town. No lists of things to be done. The day providential to itself. Ah, there's no later. This is later. All things of grace and beauty such that one holds them to one's heart have a common provenance in pain. The birth in grief and ashes. Well, thanks, Cormac. That one really cheered me up. Oh, well. But yeah, good old Mystery Lake. No, not Mystery Lake. Mountain Town. I don't know. I guess I'm just at the point where I assume that if I don't get immediately eaten by wolves, I must be in Mystery Lake. Hmm. Okay. Some nice OMBL, as we in the biz like to call it. And a bunch of stones. I mean, if we pick up enough stones, then at least we're going to stay down when we crash through the ice. Oh. 
Hallelujah. We found a nice little church on the prairie. And some trails. Huh. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> I was like, hmm, are those uh, wolf tracks or maybe those were deer tracks? Absolutely not. All wolves all the way. Infinite pain. Uh, I guess what did we expect uh, when we, like, a starting quote was from the road? <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. I sure will take it. Okay, I mean, <clears throat> at least there's sort of a resting place here, so that's nice. Would be obviously even nicer if there weren't a bunch of hungry wolves right outside, but hey. What can you do, really? Uh, oh. Okay, actually this is... You can even make a fire in here. That's also pretty nice. Uh, metal pail, reclaimed wood, sure, I'll take that shit. Uh, what's over here? of cloth, sure. Uh, thing is, there's like not enough resources to really have like a good time here. And, you know, with those wolves outside, I don't really want to stay. Let's see, maybe we can like, you know, put it somewhere a little more plentiful and a little more safe. Okay. Huh. Okay, that's convenient that he just like disappeared. Huh. Okay. It's not... Still, I don't think I want to stick around to see if maybe he'll come back. Uh, yep. Anything good in here? Absolutely not. Oh. I could use this. Ah, huh. interesting. It's actually like warm enough to, you know, not freeze. In here, that's nice. I don't know. I don't know if there's like ever anything behind these, but uh, you know, it's 
sort of, I don't know, kind of want to check them just because I can. Nothing good on the radio. Ooh. Lovely zap. I mean, I am actually warming up somehow. Um, well, I so I guess maybe, you know, have a quick little snack. Okay, we can't like... <laughs> I wondered if you could like uh, throw rocks inside the... Um, inside the car. Not quite. A little hurt over there. Maybe they like distracted those wolves. Or maybe I just like uh, got protection for my lords and savior Jesus Christ. Huh. Okay. Not sure what like the reason for that being there uh, is, you know. I guess maybe something in the story would require you to be able to open like the fuel caps. Because as far as I'm aware, there's like no actually drivable vehicles in this. <laughs> Wouldn't really fit with the whole thing, I guess. Aesthetic they're going for, gameplay wise. Or maybe there could be something hidden behind that. I don't know. Don't mind me. Oh. Sure getting cold. Yeah. Trunk. Can't open the hood. Yeah, for a second there I thought maybe there was like a pry bar there on the seat, but alas. And it's, I guess. Temperature started dropping that even inside the car now it's too cold. Which I guess seems fair. Unfortunate but fair. I guess that's what like uh, Wait. deer hoof prints look like. Um, yeah, I think my priority should be getting into town. We did see like that little welcome to Milton uh, sign there, so I'm assuming this road leads to the former civilization. What a pretty waterfall. Actually, uh, I think oftentimes like crows start circling above like uh, corpses, so maybe there's something good down there. Oh, 
Yeah. Well. It's a corpse. Not sure if it, it's nothing good on it. Guess that shows me to try to make like get advantage from my fellow man's misfortune. No hidden cave behind the waterfall. What kind of video game is this even? Can you really call yourself a video game if there isn't any treasure behind the waterfall? Maybe something else good down here, doesn't really look like it. Yeah. Okay, there we are. How's this? And as far as I can see, no wolves. Oh yeah, I'm sort of actually wondering uh, <laughs> why there aren't any wolves around. I sort of figured that, like, you know, if there weren't any humans around, they would actually be just, like, hanging around near houses since presumably there's, like, still trash lying around. But I don't know how this, how the game, like, uh, I guess what, like, the uh, spawn patterns for wolves are in this, if there's, like, any... It's, like, probably some sort of, uh, you know, math behind it, conditions that I'm not aware of. Oh, pork and beans. Yummy. A water bottle. It's nice. And that milk, also very nice. And uh, not to mention, I'm not currently freezing to death in this house, which is always very welcome. Wheat, flour, sal soybean oil, sugar, baking soda, salt, natural flavors. Beautiful. What more do you need? Anything good in the pantry? 
doesn't look like anything else. Not in the list of yummy dog food. Sure, I can break that shit down. For minutes. That's nothing. Okay. Make a quick little, you know, map thing there. Step out for outside for five seconds before, like, someone starting to bitch. Ooh. Nice, a hat. Tables, yes, radio, book, okay, right, let's have a look at what it's upstairs, okay, good line, that's not bad. I mean, now at least we are easier to spot for motorists, so okay. with, with that, like, uh, the color of that vest. Anything good in the... Ooh! Hello, baby! A new set of underwear. You're living like kings. And even more beautiful. Toilet water. Refreshing, t refreshing toilet water. I don't know. I guess it's probably been like, uh, yeah, not sure I would do that, but hey, I guess maybe I just don't have like the survivor's instinct. Really have anything uh, look to light up the place other than some matches? I guess I might sacrifice one of them. Okay. 
needs to stay away. Okay. Let's head outside and see if maybe there's something good in other parts of town. Uh, once we find the door in this horrible dark, there's the freezer. Okay. Actually, maybe potential plants. Oh. There we go. Stove. Start the fire. It's always burning since we last returned. They know. Probably could have used that birch bark for something else, but uh, I don't know. Come on, little fire. Come on. Maybe not. Perfect. Okay. Do we want to cook something? Some pork and beans, right? But eh, I feel like we're pretty good on that actually. Stuff will come in handy. Oh, and what are you? No, you're just part of the scenery, I guess. Didn't realize you could just pick up cooking pots and use them. Which, you know, now that I say that out loud, sounds like a very obvious idea. I mean, if all else fails, we could maybe bonk a wolf on the head with one. I mean, let's check if there's like anything good outside, and if not, then let's head to bed. Yeah. This will come in handy. Okay. Sure. Some newspapers. Got to support a free and balanced press. In this. Like, I mean, sure, the world has ended, but what is even worse is probably all the fake news that are spreading. House like looked significantly smaller from the outside. Uh, right, okay, can't see shit, obviously. There doesn't happen to be like a lantern somewhere around here. Ooh. But that's actually pretty nice. Uh, great. No. <laughs> Gotta get real squinty here, but I don't think there's much good in there.
Okay, okay, right. You're cold. I get it. Oh yeah, come on. That like... That place was clearly bigger on the inside. See? Okay, okay, I guess we'll just head inside. And, you know, get a bit of rest. The fire went out. Hmm. Ah! Ah, god damn it. I I am not very good at pressing the right buttons right now. Uh well I guess at least, you know, now we can really see what is in this place. that room the first time around. Little like storage chamber area. All the news that's fit to print, right? Okay, maybe this whole thing isn't as bad as uh, I thought, if uh, we still have coffee. And... Hope nobody needs this anymore. Hmm. Well, not sure I want to know what's the story behind uh, the single revolver cartridge uh, on the bathroom floor is, seems, oh, nice, seems, you know, like the kind of thing that you don't really want to ask about too much, but like there's a sitting cage, sure, we will actually take that, and there's some summit soda.
Okay, need leather to repair that shit. But that one I can do with claw. But I don't think I'll have to light for it. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we can... Oh! Hey! Wait a minute. It's actually... It's... It's spooky time. I mean, which, you know... It is at least interesting. Yeah, let's see if there's anything good in town we can uh, we can uh, you know check out why the borealis is going. You know, except for pretty scenery. Maybe check out the bank. Ooh. This stuff will come in handy. See. I ran into Susan yesterday and asked her how the video chat sessions with Father McGill were going. She did not say much. But then again, she didn't come to our reading last week or the week before it either. Oh. Oops. Uh, but then again... Right. I know those of us left behind are not what she really wants, but it is all we have. I wish she could see that. It is so easy to be afraid of friends and of love, and she has enough of her own grief after what happened. Out here, isolation beca can become its own special wound. I will check on her again next week. Oh. From Annika Longmire. Interesting. Nestle chair, don't really need that. Nothing good on those computers though. Some more delicious toilet water. Great. Uh, Locus. Nothing good in that cabinet there, though. Oh. Even more cups of coffee. I mean, probably years old, but hey, it's still coffee. Oh boy. Uh, I apologize to all my viewers with photo uh, sensitive epilepsy. Um, I don't 
didn't realize it was, it was going to be this fucking bad. But I can't, don't really feel like uh, putting on using like a match because I don't have many of those left at this point. Not that I had many to start with. Also keep all my uh, rifle ammo in the bank ward. Okay. Sure. Guess I'll take some cash too. Not that it's really all that helpful. Driving last though. Nothing important on the boss's computer either. But he's got some nice Stacy's grape soda. Good taste, good taste. Bothered up house, never mind. isn't really being too helpful in this place. All in all. Hmm. Guess we're prepared for anything. Ah. Okay. Didn't realize. Wonder what's the story there. 
just like still people around. I don't think there are any human NPCs in survival mode, but hey, uh, if there are, I hope they won't mind us taking their food. That's a uh, wall. Never mind. else we really feel like we need to check I don't know I guess with those like normal houses sure it's not bad to check those out I guess but um, uh, yeah, I don't know I don't think there's like ooh. Uh, yeah sure uh, I don't think there's like too much doesn't make too much sense checking them out uh, when the Aurora's out compared to just normal daytime because I don't think they'll have like uh, much in the way of uh, like computers or similar things. Fine, fine. I wonder, does the car radio work? No. I was just wondering if maybe it would look like different uh, when the hood was open now that the batteries, I guess, sort of running. This stuff will come in handy. Can't get through there. I guess let's check out the post office. And uh. Yeah, I guess there's the post office and then thought that there was like uh, another thing there too, another sort of bigger looking building. Well, I guess you can drop something in your mouth. Yeah. 
Mafia, like, also... Ah, that actually does work against uh, your fatigue. Probably was a bit foolish to have that, st you know, get... Uh, drink both of those at the same time, since the effect probably doesn't stack, right? Small package came in this morning, and it's been sh in shipping limbo for a while, by the look of it. No surprise these days, but a minor miracle it got all the way through here from Toronto. The freight has opened back up again. That's a great sign. Well, I'm sure it turned out to be great. Everything worked out great for everyone. We can clearly see that. Too bad we don't have any coins to get some truly ancient chewing gum. cold you're carrying too much everything is everything hurts everybody's mean but hey oh uh oh no oh no what the fuck didn't know there were ghost wolves Ugh. well it is about the one hour mark and I was like about to say, oh, hey, one, like, for once we like made it through the, through one hour, but, uh, I guess not. I guess the fucking ghost wolves, uh, you know, killed us. Great. Oh man. Uh back. Okay. <sighs> well, I guess that's as good as <laughs> good like um occasion as any to, you know, switch games. And take a little break in between. Catch you guys in a couple of seconds. Well, minutes, more rather. But yeah.
Alrighty. Uh, it is once more time for more Resident Evil. Uh, and well, the last time we started, uh, we called Veronica X. Uh, the story so far is that we are Claire Redfield. We, you know, I guess search for our brother, uh, search for Chris in Paris. Or maybe we were working together with him to like bring down an umbrella. Anyways, uh, Claire went to Paris and like lots of young Americans uh, European vacation. It ended uh, with her getting kidnapped and uh, finding herself awakening in some sort of presumably South American prison somewhere and there's zombies but even worse there's one real annoying whiny canadian kid and uh yeah then we like did some puzzles uh wandered around didn't find, manage to find a safe room went back to the last safe room and then got to kill because uh all the zombies respawned so uh this time around we, i'm going to load an earlier safe and hope you know uh, I can, I can, you know, uh, maybe do a little bit better. Alright, and this game doesn't have like a sound options in game, so I gotta like, uh, turn that shit down a bit. There's the capture cup. Yeah, let's turn it down by 50%. And let's see. Resident Evil. I don't know, that's such a low effort, Resident Evil. It's supposed to sound like this! Or something. You know, at least more spooky than, you know. Resident Evil, Code Veronica X, Boohoo, I'm a spooky zombie. Okay. Alright, uh, yeah. I don't know. Gotta get back used to the controls once more. It sort of feels weird having those like classic RE tank controls but in a fully 3D environment. I don't know. Okay, the email to Leon has been already sent. That door was locked. Can't be open from this side, I guess. Huh? Huh? Did that work? Oh, right, that's the lock for the. Okay, right. For the shutter outside, I remember. Okay. Nothing good in the trash. Some stuff. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. I thought I saved after we did that whole thing with the, you know, the 3D printer. But alas. Ah, right, it's the lighter. 
Alright, I agree my pal. Any metallic items you have in the security box. Wait. Oh. Ah, that one. Obviously it's the entire point of having that thing there is that we can't just take that one out. Okay. I think for right now we can deposit the ink ribbon there to We opened the shutter, which means we Actually, I would kind of want to check something here. Mm -hmm. There's zombies, obviously, in there. But let's... Oh, bye. Right. Um, thing I want to know, is that... Does that explode? It does. Somehow it didn't kill myself. That's good. Okay. So, please... Do not take a clear nibble. I mean, uh, just turn the game audio down a bit. I feel like it was still pretty loud, but let me know. Okay, that's him not dead with, but down for the moment okay that's him actually that will now about his body can we okay so it seems like um yeah you can get him to like drop down with like two slices to the knees that's um yeah that's fairly convenient actually I guess, I guess like uh, the knife is a bit more useful than it was in some of the previous games, or maybe I just didn't figure out how to use it, uh, you know, successfully previously. Uh, should I take the padlock key? Gotta put a thingy in the thingy there. Fine. Standard Resident Evil fare. No, no, no. Bad dog. Oh, don't want to head in there. One of the major problems I do have with like the fixed camera angle in this is that it's su super hard to judge for me when like uh, a guy is in reach of the knife and when he isn't. There we go. We do still seem to be doing pretty alright because we're like not in the hurt animation. 
is can you somehow sneak up on these guys no nope. that's not really s sneaking up If I position myself like this, I might be, you know, um, outside of the reach of the grab. Okay, that actually worked pretty all right. Good. that shit up. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Yada yada. TJ1 isn't metal, can't be detected by metal detectors. Great for like uh, for like doing terrorist attacks. Because, you know, uh, I guess uh, Umbrella doesn't have like a, you know, doesn't have like a monopoly on being a cartoonishly evil corporation in the Resident Evil world. Puppies are mad, but that's fine with me. We're just going to take a quick shortcut, sure, get rid of that shit, and I'm out of here. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Fine. Don't forget the lighter. Okay. What's up, boys? like anything good uh, no apparently not anyways ah. gotta grab the shit from the thing and then I mean uh, not the not the flame rounds even though I Emblem. You know what, I'm going to grab those ink ribbons too and use one of those. I mean, it's like, I don't know, like what, five minutes that we, uh, we saved by doing that, but hey. I'm nothing if not lazy.
activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Please place the material which you have scanned on the scanner portion of this machine. modeling clay there. I keep opening the map when I want to open the uh, inventory. Man, science sure has come a long way. There's like some sort of way to, you know, trap those guys somehow. We can lure them in here, then move through. I mean, okay, let's see. Are you coming, sir? Would be sort of nice if I could, like, uh, Look ahead, you know, but alas. So, I mean, probably as soon as uh, the camera angle changes, uh, he's going to be on me, right? <laughs> Obviously. And now I'm in caution territory but we can't just push through there without taking further damage yeah. okay there we go that's so bad uh, uh, uh. so please stop nibbling Okay, gonna grab everything. Mm. Wonder, is it really worth taking the empty extinguisher at this point? Oh, I think I'm going to keep that actually. And now, hopefully, that means there's like two less guys there. I don't know if that really did as much good at all, but, you know, I don't know. Sort of felt like I was doing something, at least. Okay. Possible to open. Uh, okay, pushing through there. Everyone's angry, but uh, if the camera would cooperate, this would be wouldn't be that hard. Let's just ignore these assholes then. I mean, we're probably going to have to come back eventually for the uh, fire extinguisher, but I'm sort of hoping it's going to be a while before that becomes necessary. Right, can I take five steps down? 
without pressing the action button. I mean, one step actually, just. Mm -hmm. Some herbs, nice. That's a box we can push later on. But first off, let's. I don't want you to proceed, I want you to take the ammo. Right, thank you. See, I can't like walk upstairs uh, without pressing the action button, but I can just push uh, boxes uh, around by just walking into them. Sort of feels like a bit weird, you know, uh, priorities there again. But I'm not going to deal with those. I'm going to head into this little area first. I guess this game is actually quite a bit easier if you actually know what you're doing. And where you're supposed to head or something. Um, this point uh, first off okay but I think at this point maybe the knife's the better option uh, okay so far not, not really <laughs> okay uh, I guess it's very good at dodging them which oh ah controller drift I'm sick I guess uh ah shit Okay, my flawless knife dodge technique uh, has failed. Okay, come on, Fido. One more. Okay, how fucked up are we? Uh, we're still on... Not the worst caution ever. We're not on danger yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Ah! Okay, move closer. Keep stabbing. That's it. What are you? Ah, uh, I mean, right now they do take up inventory space, but the bow gun is actually not too far away. And I feel like we, but before we get to that, uh, we probably are going to be using um, some healing herbs first. I got like a slight thing. Oh, not this one missing, can't help my chill. Anything good here? Stationary, 
and related stuff. No idea what that is. Nothing useful. Eh, clear, please. Ah, uh, there's the bowgun. Don't have the space, but. Oh, there's also a file. Memo on the pass number. The emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room can be released with the four-digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. I have just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. Oh, silly science dude. So, in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of the biology experiment room? I've decided to use the number signed on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway. But just in case, now you know. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. Oh, those zany umbrella dudes are... Whatever place we are here. Uh, emergency dialogue system activating. Does this bio experiment? I'm normal air. I can't enter the pass number. Okay. But, yeah. Let's slam some, up, some herbs. And chuck, chuck, chuck. And let's get the bow gun. Okay. Ah, 30 rounds. Can we... Oh. Check. Bowgun. Well, it looks bowy. Crossbow handgun. Powerful bowgun, which is mainly used for hunting. Well, I'm going to use it to hunt the most dangerous game. Uh... Let's see. I mean, I got. Ha! Huh. I mean, how powerful can it actually be if they, we get like uh, 30 shots for it per, per like uh, ammo pickup? Okay, that's good. Can we get the bow back? No. I mean, the arrow. Got like a pretty decent rate of fire, too. Oh! Uh. Ah! Ah! I can't get the door open. Well, I'd say that's a bit of an overreaction. You know, science to itself almost never the answer. There appears to be no one around. Red pictures hanging in the back. You can't see the number from here. Oh, come on, that's like... 1126? One, I mean, it's got probably abnormal layer anyways, right? Okay. Well, I guess they didn't call him. The memo didn't. Oh. Level three. Emergency shutters will close. All oh yeah. <sighs> that was close. All those heart pumping action scenes. <sighs> okay, I'm sure that alarm sound isn't going to get on my nerves at all. Uh, 
bit like still in this room. Okay, good. Yeah. I see you there, mister. Okay, that's him. Okay, there's some one back there. Thanks, Auto Aim. Okay, that's a bit underwhelming. I mean, I know, I know, there was like. Obviously, it can't be too powerful if it's got like. All that ammo lying around, but still. Yeah. That was still a bit of a letdown. Secured with a simple lock. I see you back there. Maybe like it's good for headshots or what have you. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, no, that's... I see why they give you this isn't that much ammunition for that. Uh. Basically a waste of time to come in here at this point, I just think. Oh, maybe there's like a thing blinking? Maybe that helps? Ah. Okay. Well, that's semi-helpful, I think. So far it doesn't seem like there's like any other kinds of herbs around, like just green, didn't spot any other colors. Nothing useful. Wait, Claire, have you ever considered that maybe the pursuit of knowledge is like uh, worthy all of its own, regardless of like... Uh, External benefits. Oh. Well, I guess that, um, you know, answers my thing. Okay, we made an ultra up. Okay, yeah. I guess. That uh, was to be expected. Okay, got him. The vending machine is broken, oh. I'm not thirsty right now. Ah, nothing of interest. 
Dirty towels are stuffed inside. Well, don't need those, I don't think. Uh, let's see, can I lure these guys? Okay, I mean, I do... There's like a bit of a uh, problem with the, with the locker there. But, to be fair, uh, I don't seem to be the only one that has, like, problems with that corner there. Mm. Ah, shit. I mean, the knife is pretty damn useful, but you still are likely to take some damage using it. Which I guess is sort of a trait. I mean, how much ammo can the bowgun actually, like, carry? Is it just infinite? Like, at least it's like a pretty good chunk, I guess. Nothing of interest. Another sort of open. Right. I guess the game really wants me to use that thing. Is it like going to be a situation where, um, oh, where like they work? incredibly well against one particular kind of enemy but you don't uh, realize that until like don't meet that enemy uh, until like you're halfway through the game and that, that and you were like supposed to save all your ammo for that one guy but uh, I didn't and I'm going to be in great trouble well if that is going to be the case I'm still going to be bumped but at least I you know can feel like I sort of uh, told you so. Mm. Or myself. Mm. Ah. Oh, I think he's actually dead. dead. Mm. Sauna. There's a lot of hot air inside. Huh. Is she talking about a sauna or about friggin' Congress? I think I made that joke last time around too, but... It hasn't gotten any better, but it also hasn't gotten any worse. At least I don't think so. You dead down there, mister? Okay, it seems so. A key with a tag. What does the tag say? Uh huh. My key worth storage. Storage key. Oh, well, I do know where the storage key might be used. So, can we maybe sh shut off the sauna? Is that like... No. Hmm.
I mean, let's hope they didn't, like, respawn the enemies in the five seconds as I, that I was gone. Oh, they just despawned them. That's just... okay. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. This is a gunpowder for a bowgun arrow. Ah, crafting, I guess. Okay, well... I can guess there's like worse things to have, like, I don't know... The plague? Uh... You know... Ingrown toenails, you know, stuff like that. That's probably worse than uh, bowgun powder. Though I'm not sure by how much. Alright. Uh, what about that door back there? Locked from the other side. Okay. Okay, that's a cute little detail that the head flew off. Anyways, um... Ah! Okay, he's down for good, I think. Pew pew! I don't know. Not the most satisfying weapon, I'd say. Am I like on worse caution than I was before? Not yet, I don't think. So they seem to be like traveling in a little arc. Okay, <laughs> get like, get like Call of Duty style trick shots with these, I don't think. <laughs> Where like aim them straight up and have them come down <laughs> in another room. Disappointing, really. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, I think that kills him good. Yeah. It is now down from the inside. I can't open it. Oh well. More papas. Ah. Ah. Okay. Sure, this is mean, but hey, they're sometimes very mean to me. Ah, fuck. Uh, okay. Doing still on. Bye bye. Ah! Come on, man. Uh, ah! Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, it's a Resident Evil game, after all. I wonder which way... Western man... Can 
can we get just get in there? Okay, we can. Okay. Oh boy. Ah. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate the unlocking device. Please enter your ID number. Let's see. Um. Let me think. Now, let's see, backspace, that doesn't work, gotta be more, like, gotta be more serious about this. Yes, yeah, I think. ID verification in progress, please wait. Error, ID verification has been rejected. Fuck, I'm on a lot of ideas. Let's see, is there maybe like a proper safe room around here somewhere, maybe? That would be nice if we had one of those. Uh, I mean, probably, knowing my luck, there's probably like one right behind the, um, right behind the door outside we just ignored to get in here. Uh, oh great, toilet beds. I don't know. I mean, it's a Resident Evil game after all, so... Oh, never mind. Ah! Obviously. It's gonna be like this. Eh! Stay away from me, you fiends! Alright. Am I doing like anything by doing this? Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Uh, I got my orange caution. is not good. Never mind, I want to get out of here. Stay away. All oh, right, I need to use a, a use key to climb some fucking stairs. Obviously. Okay, now I'm in danger, which means, hey, at least I can free up some inventory space. Do I want to pick up that ammo there, or do I want to pick up that healing up outside? Well, let's see, nothing useful. Silver Crest, sure. Okay, there we go, that's one of those, finally. A secretary's left. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. And though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister Alexia in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. Might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. 
I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. And though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he is so desperately tries to keep this private life with Alexia secret. Robert Dawson. Oh well. Aristocrats. Well, you sort of know what they say about them. Okay, take a handgun bullet, sure. Gonna slam those down, gonna slam those down. Because I don't think I'll be needing my, them too much. Oh, actually. How does the... Can I just use that to make... Okay, no. I guess I gotta combine it with something else to make those... Uh... To, to, to make those uh, arrows, starts, whatever, from powder. That's how that works. This shelf has been moved. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I guess uh, the Baron or whatever is uh, Republican. <laughs> Here, besides the typewriter, I don't think. Eh! <sighs> Do not save. Professional books are lined up here. <laughs> I mean, what makes these books so professional? Are they like very down to business? Okay, there's the gun room. We've got inventory space. Maybe I'll um, I'll try to run through the bathroom to the bathroom. Get it? It's like bathroom, but with baths. Okay, sure. Duralumin case. Ah. Okay. for an umbrella employee. The word NTCO394. I know I can just check it in my inventory at any time, but I'm just going to make a note just in case. Um, yeah. And I guess it's James Astor. And 
Let's see what's in this. Case okay, so is locked. There must be a keyhole somewhere. I could turn this if I had a lockpick. Well, I did. up too. It's a good thing we got uh, got that uh, employee ID after all, uh, because my next guesses would have probably gotten me banned from Twitch or something. Okay, anyways, security lock deactivated. Cool. Sure, let's get rid of that shit. And do I want to head back into the bedroom too? Uh, to get the, to get the, uh, uh, first aid spray. Yeah, sure. Fate. Eh! Ah. We're going to drop the the ink ribbons and the um, and the ink ribbons and the case and uh, also the first aid tray. We're going to drop those off and then um, let's explore some more. up with this thing. Each portrait is on display here. Well, not all that uh, helpful. Yeah, 
could maybe just slip past him, but alas. Oh well. Um. This joke has served. Silver crest. So I guess so we're going to be needing silver keys. Handguns are displayed here. Look at those chunky boys. Okay. Mother fighter plane is displayed here. Okay. Oh, visual references. Well, seems to be the primary theme. Oh, interesting. Guess we got a little, uh, Got like a little uh, War Thunder playing in uh, play under making. A model battleship is displayed here. Two magnums are displayed here. Nice. I mean, can we maybe pick some of those up? Jewel modeled after an ant is displayed here. That seems a bit. There's a button below. Sure. Ah, great. Ah, childhood. Like, I mean, today's children could never, they'd be far too distracted by smartphones to appreciate the beauty of nature and their siblings. Combat nice. And there's a tank. And there's another tank, but we can't look at it. Guns from many countries uh, on display here. I mean, sure, they probably got like... Well, I was about to say they probably got like their firing pins removed or something to make them unusable, but on the other hand, honestly, that wouldn't be shocked if they didn't. Uh, with like going by like uh, a general theme of Resident Evil, uh, you know, interior decoration traditions. Uh, you know, safety isn't like the first concern. We have gold lugers are displayed here. Take them. I mean, ooh. okay, shit. Oh no. Uh Exit is completely blocked off. Okay, I'm going to be needing Uh yeah. Okay. It's one of these puzzles. Project screen is down. Well, I'm also feeling pretty down. You know, with, what with all the zombies. 
like no, not a, but there's like nothing else we can press. Uh, at least I don't think so at this point. Oh well, we at least got to see some beautiful home videos. Ah ah ah! I hear you groaning there, Mister, and I'm never having none of it. Obviously, he's hiding around the corner there. stuff we got um gold stuff we gotta do and we got like a weird steering wheel mm, though i'm not sure where we're supposed to put yeah! oh boy steve oh no not steve how could we ever live with ourselves if something were to happen to steve I'm going out to get... Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, he's probably going to have... Like, he probably picked up the guns, didn't he? And he's too stupid to put them back. Like, that's totally what's happening, right? Yeah. Suffering, good. There's a message on the control panel. A. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Steve, just put the fucking things back, you stupid idiot. Uh, A is B, 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 and. C is like the normal gun. D is the knife. I don't know, is it even like... Not even sure if it's really relevant. Uh, D is the magnum to like write all this down, but what do I know? F is Operated? Yes. There's switches. Uh, okay, I guess if there's like two pairs, so it's the knife, the magnums, and the guns. And the side. Oh, okay, there's three knives, uh, so it's just the two guns, I guess, right? 
It's like also two tanks, but that does not um, I guess it also just says that it's two pairs, so... Uh, oh. That was... Oh boy. I thought I wouldn't make it. <sighs> oh, I need those. Give them to me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I found it and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. Steve, I'm going to throw you back in the fucking chamber. I'll see you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! <sighs> I swear to God. Look, I'm going to put my... Uh, please, just close the thing again. I don't want to live in, in a world in which Steve is a thing. <laughs> Come on, Claire. You probably could have just knocked him over by, like... Like, you know, snapped his scrawny neck like a twig or something. I don't know. Be thrown into art and he'd probably keel over. But I guess we like gotta, you know, gotta like just, I don't know, maybe trade him for something fully automatic as if. It's... Look. Oh. <laughs> Oh my. Red Phoenix, how dare you interfere with my operation? <laughs> what are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. <laughs> I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. <laughs> oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, this wise acting is uh, <laughs> the Ashford pretty great. Is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. <laughs> Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Monsters! Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way then! I do like how during most of the cutscenes Claire just looks like she also doesn't have like <laughs> like half an idea of what to think about anything that's going on here. <laughs> yep, I'm completely on your page here, yeah, sister. Okay, anyways, uh, as I was saying, uh, you know, like, uh, like the one thing I would trade, uh, be willing to trade, uh, Steve for is, you know, uh, a bullet for my gun. Like, I'd be willing to give him one of those. Hey, 
something, yeah? We got a navy proof. What is that? I guess there's some, going to be some sort of uh, naval themed puzzle room coming up. Steering wheel. It's a wheel used to steer ship. It has an octa shaped projection. A hex shaped stone object. Picture of a submarine is carved on it. Okay, cool. Fascinating. map sure nice the mama also very nice there's some I don't know no we can't pick up those binoculars I was like figuring maybe um, we'd be able to use them in the room where we could make out the numbers So I guess uh, Ashford's got a got a midget submarine, yeah. like a sort of uh, DIY submarine, always. Okay, actually, it's like bigger than you'd figure on the inside, but still, it's a side pack. Ooh, upgrade. Oh yeah, look at those two additional item slots. Now I'm ready to take on the world. There's a lever? With lever, sure. What's the worst that could happen by operating a submarine without a manual? Now we are in the hidden submarine pan of the space. It's uh, uh yeah, didn't really uh, see that one coming. Gotta say. Okay, there's uh, I hear shuffling. Not down for good, I know, but ah, ah, ah. I see you down there, mister, and you're not getting back up. But if I've got anything to say about it. Okay, let's see. You 
use their greatest weakness, corners, against them. Okay. That's him. Taken care of. Oh, that goes. Actually, fairly better turning than I expected. Like I think they turn like around faster than I do, at least when I aim. Oh bye. Oh no. I think we're like not doing too hard. But there we go. That's probably him taking care of. Ah. Could be worse. Mm -hmm. I guess some similar items have been placed here. We're now in the underwater uh, seaplane hangar. Ah, okay. That's all very interesting. I think there's probably a box pulling puzzle coming up. KO for two. Oh, wait, oh, hang up. Okay, so, like, we can't, um, we gotta, like, move it in this position first, and then to the side. Can't, like, do that afterwards, okay. Seems like it's pretty much smack dab in the middle. Yes. Okay. And 
anything interesting to see? It doesn't look like it. Control panel for the loading lift. While inside, the lift may not operate if the power levels are low. Oh god. One guy, sort of. Bogan arrows and something actually important. Okay, I guess it's a biohazard card. Probably can use that to open up the thing in the training facility, right? Access control system. Card shining in key shining in silver. You can use this at the military training facility. Okay. I feel like this was probably some very, like, you know, unnecessarily elaborate backtracking. Uh, or... Not backtracking, but I uh, like, uh, um, detour. Uh, for just a single key card, but hey, what do I know? Oh, by the way, is there like anything? Is that? No, I guess we can't use that. I was like wondering if maybe we could, uh, if that would be a map of this facility or something. Anyways, what's behind here? Ah, fuck. East jerks. I wonder, can we, like, actually... I mean, Claire does target them, so sorta. But I guess not. Oh, fuck. I guess it's just going to be annoying. Uh, and we're now in actual danger, Jesus. Okay, sorry. Uh, can I do something there? Not while I'm getting eaten by bats. This device, push the switch. Right, good, cool. Okay. Can we slap that one in there, at least? We can. That's not yet very helpful, but probably a step in the right direction. Anyways, 
I guess it is time to once again backtrack a whole lot. Which I'm fine with. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, going to make a quick trip to the safe room and then probably call it a night there uh, unless something major comes up you know uh, because it's getting a bit late over here and we actually made some progress so there's that Why we didn't get rid of Steve, we did see him suffer, which, you know, is, is like a, you know, uh, like some consolation at least. I do like how energetically she turns uh, to the thing. Nice, we even got like a little glass of wine there in the uh, safe room. didn't acquire them, really. Hmm, just like... Huh. Uh, but... Yeah... Uh... Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to call it a stream there, I think. Uh, please do join me again on uh, on the next stream which is going to be on Tuesday with more Long Dark uh, and more Code Veronica. Maybe, maybe we're going to like survive uh, <laughs> the Long Dark for like a little longer. I don't know, I feel like uh, I didn't know there were like weird, weird ghost walls around or something. Or at least glowy walls. Uh, but yeah. Uh, huh. Guess, guess we should learn something new every day. But yeah. Uh, Tuesday it's going to be more uh, Long Dark and more Code Veronica. And on Thursday I'm going to continue with Driver San Francisco. I 
hope you guys uh, I hope I hope to see you guys there and until then I do hope you guys have a good night and see ya